Let me remind you what the 120 challenge is all about. It's where I turn up to a fishery with all my fishing kit except for the flies because I have to sit down and tie them before going out on the water. Now our friends at Vineyard have added a little bit of a twist. They're going to supply all the materials. That's all I can bring is just my fly tying kit. So I'm allowed and I've been allowed to put the tools and the vise together, get ready before the timer starts. So just get my scissors. Right, we've got a countdown clock on my phone. The vice is ready. Now when Aaron hands me the envelope, I'm gonna press this start button. The mystery envelope. Thank you, started right. Now the problem with this, I haven't got a clue. You probably won't believe it, but I don't know what's in there. Today, it's a horrible day. So let's first of all have a look. Just dump them all out. Let's have a look at what we've got. Bit of twinkle. That's good. All right, first of all, we got some hooks. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Right, it's a streamer hook. That's a size six. That's quite big. We've got grub and heavy wet fly size 10. Right, we've got a bit of marabou. We've got mallard. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we got gummy minnows. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll see if we use them. Right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, that. 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 Right. I have noticed in the last challenge I used some gold heads and lead heads, and uh, there's nothing. There's no weight whatsoever. So you have to improvise. Luckily, I'm allowed to use loads of different lines. So. First of all, we've got a selection of marabou. Let's have a look. Right. Still waters. Olive. You've got to have it. Going to use size 10 hook. The first fly I had to tie, and it, it's a sort of a stalwart of any still water, is the damsel fly. But at this time of year, you really should be using a, a gold head, but there was none in the kit, so I wasn't allowed to. So, marabou tail. I'd make it as fluffy as possible. Uh, I would have liked pearly twinkle, but again, none in the kit. So I just use the crystal flash floor orange in the tail. And orange and green, yeah, they go all right together sometimes. Then for the body, there was no body material apart from, again, using the same colored marabou. So I spun that onto the hook. And lastly, just to add something, a little bit of attraction in the head, I decided to just use five or six turns of the gold holographic. That way there's a bit of flash in there, even though there isn't a gold head. The next thing I wanted to tie was a cat's whisker. So I had the white for the tail. I put the gold holographic in the tail just to put a bit of flash in it. Um, I would have liked to have some bright green, um, some flow green for the body, but there was nothing at all in it. So I decided just to spin some marabou again. So it's, it's a half damsel, half cat mix or metamorphosis of a fly. Then I had to, I could not not use this um, gummy minnow kit. And it is actually really, really simple to use. Um, and it really surprised me because I've, I've seen it before in three or four different layers where um, it's more for sea fishing. But this one, very, very simple because everything's done for you. The eyes are on. The petroleum blue is in the back and it's just one fold over the hook. I just put some white marble in the tail just to add a little bit of movement and then just fold it over the hook. I've got to be off my head. This is absolutely crazy. Hurricane winds. And I'm doing all this, and you're sat there at home in the dry. Crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. 
pas ici. Oh, it's a great day to be out, isn't it? <laughs> right, let me do a few sort of pointers here for you. I've set myself up with the wind over my left shoulder. Reason is I want it just to keep that line away from you. But occasionally I'm getting some really, really strong gusts coming straight into my face, across, and even into my right shoulder. If you're ever out fishing and it's like this, right? One second, the wind is down, it's quite nice, then suddenly big gusts come up. If you're halfway through a cast and you think it's gonna come into you, just drop everything, just leave it on the ground behind you. Because there's nothing worse than trying to save a cast and that fly's gonna come into you. Glasses and hat are must. Never, even in horrible conditions like this, use low light, low light glasses, but they're there primarily for protection. A little bit about the retrieve, because <laughs> there's nothing taken at the moment. Um, a lot of people will say, you know, winter, slow, mix it up. But it is very, very cold today, and I'm just finding it a little bit difficult to stay in contact. Oh, nice rain. Stay in contact doing a figure of eight. So what I'll actually do is, I'll do a slow roly-poly, um, really, really slow, same speed as I would do a figure of eight, but it means I can actually stay in contact with the line uh, at all times. Whereas when you're fe feeling that your hands are really sort of cold and stiff and you can't do that figure of eight, just do this, quite simple, quite easy. That was actually a little tight. The other thing is being forced. Normally, going out in a small still water, golden damsel or um, tungsten bead damsel. The great thing with this, there's no weight at all in the fly. So one, I'm using an intermediate line. So it's the line that's gonna take the fly down. But the other thing is, I can actually fish it a lot slower, but get still a lot of movement in that tail. Because if you just imagine a golden, it's gonna dive down. So to get that movement, you have to retrieve faster. This way, you can retrieve a lot slower, but still get that pulsating movement in that marabou. And the last piece of advice, if you're going out fishing, if you're thinking of going out on a, on a day like this, don't stay at home in front of the fire and tie some flies. That must be crazy. But the challenge is on. Right, damsel's coming off. I've had a few sort of half-hearted sort of bumps with it, but I've never ever, well I tell a lie, I fished salt water with a bigger sort of version to this, but uh, never on a trout water. But good thing about this one is, it's got eyes, so I can see if there's any fish there and probably come back and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can see I've lost the plot. It's actually very nice. I've got to say, this fly is really, looks really, really good. It's catching the light. And if it was October, November, when the fish were really slamming fry, then I think it would be very, very effective. But you never know. Whoa! <laughs> oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. <laughs> Well, you're not going to believe it. First cast. Uh, and I did say that <laughs> October, November for fry, but this fish doesn't know the months. So he's just nailed that fry fly. Look at it in a corner of his mouth. He has just slammed it. Look at that. <laughs> yes! Challenge complete. The damsel had a few takes. Change to that gummy fry. And look at that. Gorgeous rainbow. And right in the corner of the mouth. And 36, 50 left. Job done. <laughs>